Hey, Jeff Greenwald from Rabbit Ears here at uh, Sacramento Comic Con. Uh, before we get to the panel, I wanted to uh, talk a little bit about Dylan Gregory here. Uh, he, uh, at the panel, had to run out and get some supplies as he often saves everyone's behind. So before we get to the panel, I had to run out. And yeah, save. well, we're going to watch the panel. Okay. But it's already happened. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> anyway, he had to run out of the room and he didn't get a lot of stage time at the panel. Uh, so anyway, I wanted to uh, say a little bit about Mr. Gregory here. Uh, Dylan is our script supervisor on the show uh, and has been for three years. And he is also script supervisor on Dragnet 2016 and Master Impressions, right? Uh, kind of, uh, off and on. Yeah. And in addition, in his head, he's a writer on the show. So in addition to that full-time job, he's also basically the showrunner at our Comic-Con tours. And finishing up the Comic-Con season, um, Dylan has been at every single Comic-Con for uh, two years. Uh, he's the only other person besides myself who has uh, really done that all across the country. And um, so writers and actors come and go, but Dylan is always there. So uh, publicly, I just wanted to thank you for everything that you've done for the show. And... Um, uh, and give you a, give you a moment here since you weren't up on stage yesterday. So, so uh, thank you, sir. Uh, do you have anything to say? Or... Bye. See you later. Dylan Gregory, uh, class act, or some other word that starts with A and is three letters in every sense of the word. Dylan here. Uh, so hello, hello, Sacramento. Hello. 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 Welcome to the smallest room we have ever played in my entire life. <laughs> yes. And I apologize to the people in the back. I hope you guys can see, uh, uh, as well as the smallest room, it's also the smallest screen by about ten times that we've ever done. <laughs> so I hope you guys can see, because that's sort of the point of the whole whole 45 minutes is to watch this stuff. So I, can, I hope you guys can see. I can try we to can drop, drop the, the lights. Um, Get some can you drop the setting? zero and get with the hero? Drop it to zero and get with the hero? If you want to mess with the lights, no vanilla man, ice. If, if, you're, if, you're, if you want to mess with the lights, I'm more than happy to have you do that. Um, <laughs> Preston needs two microphones. So anyway, uh, so to introduce side? us really quick, uh, that's better. Okay. Uh, to introduce, I show we're professionals. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I usually only have one of them with me. Uh, <laughs> that was really difficult. There's a reason. Yeah, there it is. Um, okay, so uh, uh, for those of you, uh, we've been to the Sacramento a couple times, so maybe, uh, and I actually live here in Sacramento, and so is Preston. I do. Yes. See heights. Uh, yeah, so uh, 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 I'm Jeff Greenwald uh, from Rabbit Ears. I'm the head writer of Rabbit Ears. Uh, we're a show that's very much like Mystery Science Theater, uh, but also not different, weirder. Um, but uh, and we're just going to go down the line here and just kind of tell you who we are. So you're next, sir. Oh, so I'm Dan. I'm one of the characters in Rabbit Ears. I'm also the co-creator. I helped come up with the concept of the show. Oh, um, so long ago, I forgot. Yeah. <laughs> Jeff's well, like, I want to do well, something where we're ripping years. movies. So we've been doing this since we were like in high school. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we're like, why don't we rip movies? Riff movies. Oh, like, we've been ripping movies. Riffing. I thought you meant the show. I'm like, no, 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 no. Ooh. And so we're like, uh, so I'm like, you know what would be cool? Is it what if there's like this TV that's possessed and the, the, the people in this house can't pay their cable bill, so they have to watch whatever comes over the rabbit ears, which isn't much these days. Especially when, but it, when you've got a possessed television. <laughs> uh, my name's Preston Murray. I'm a writer for the show. I started writing in season three, and I wasn't joking like Jeff. I just started making fun of stuff, and Jeff invited me to write for the show. <laughs> I'm, I've been ripping movies just for fun since I was really little. I've actually, I've had two girlfriends in my life that have broken up with me because I couldn't shut up during movies. <laughs> I'm... So that's my life. <laughs> and now you're here. And I have a list of things I'm not allowed to talk about today. Jeff and I have <laughs> He's not kidding. <laughs> I'm not. So if I all of a sudden go quiet, you'll know why. <laughs> all right. Uh, my name is Wyatt Patak. I play Wyatt Patak. Uh, <laughs> I have broken up with two girlfriends. Uh, <laughs> For ripping movies. And you've been on the show since the beginning. I've been on the show since the beginning. I've known three, three of the four guys here for several years. So, all right, I'm Dylan. I'm one of the writers on the show. Popped in sporadically for seasons one and two, and then really came on board for season three. 
Also, script supervisor on days we shoot, and I'm really not sure how I even got here today. He knows everything about everything, which is really creepy. It's really creepy. He knows that's all not true at all. Show. He really doesn't know, though. Including, okay, like, if he doesn't our... know, he'll make it up on the spot. I yeah. asked him today oh, about yeah. what, what <laughs> yeah. being in a pickle was. Tell, tell people what being in a pickle was. Well, what's the origin? The origin. What, the truth or what I came up with? What you came what up with. Came I don't care about the oh, truth. Okay. <laughs> I can't you remember can't handle the train. <laughs> okay, never mind, never mind, never Cut, 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 scene, cut, scene. <laughs> um, So anyway, uh, we're Thanks here to talk to professionals. Uh, <laughs> we wasted four minutes. Woo! <laughs> yeah! Uh, it so, wasn't dead air. <laughs> no, it wasn't. Wait, uh, awkward pause. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're good. <laughs> All right. Um, so we're here to talk about Mystery Science Theater. We're also here to talk about uh, movie riffing in general. And we're going to play some funny clips. And we have a surprise for you all today because um, for the last year and a half, we've been doing these. Pictures. William Shatner! <laughs> oh, no, sorry, sorry. That was such a legend. <laughs> um, I laughed. For the past, yeah, I know you did. For the past year and a half, we've been doing. Um, these, uh, these panels at, at Wizard World all over the country, and we've been doing uh, a short film called Consuming Women. Um, and then people laugh. Oh, oh, oh. Um, and we're retiring that short today. So we're going to do a rip-off later of Consuming Women for the very last time uh, with members of the audience. Uh, but then, because we are so excited about this, yep. I am. we are doing a second rip-off, which we've Woo! never done. Before with a short that no one's ever seen. So <laughs> and there's a very good reason. There's a very good reason. We'll talk about it when we get there. But um, so, so just kind of let you know what what we've got in the program. We're going to talk mystery science. We're going to watch some mystery science as well. Uh, so what I'd like to do to start off uh, is to uh, kind of discuss our favorite mystery science theater episodes. Have you guys tell us what some of yours are, and we'll we'll start with Wyatt. No. Why are you drunk? Can you tell? He's an, <laughs> can you tell he's an actor, not a writer? Uh, Mitchell was. Oh, Mitch. Mitchell. Oh, Mitchell. Was, Mitchell. Mitchell. You guys are probably very popular one too. That one's funny with the uh, bumbling cop, and I played a, I played a bumbling uh, law enforcement officer and other things with Jeff. Um, that one's really funny. Uh, they, they joke what, around a lot about the lovemaking scene. What I what I love about Mitchell is. Um, the uh, the fact that he is absolutely the anti-hero in every way, and I don't mean like in the typical sense, he is not a hero at all in any way. Uh, uh, for those of you to see Mitchell, and it was also uh, uh, why am I correct? It's also that was Joel's last episode, right? Yeah. 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 It was. Yeah. Uh, hands. Who uh, favorite mystery science? Yeah. Man with hands and feet. Woo! Woo! <laughs> and I can't believe I'm going to ask this question. So, Manos, the hands of fate. Why? <laughs> the one that got me, the line that got me was when he goes and he opens the door and she's like, My puppy, your puppy's compost. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. For me, Manos, uh, it's the beginning scene with the driving. <laughs> Just forever. And, and, uh, that amazing whole monologue Joe goes on with the girls talking. Oh, my five-year plan is this, and all. Have I told you about my five-year plan? Well, year one is that, and it was just <laughs> like my eyes just bugged out of my head when I saw it. Um, Dylan, your favorite? I know what it is. He's every time. Every time. Santa, Santa Claus versus the, the Martians. <laughs> <laughs> the reason being, that was the first MST3K I'd ever heard of. Didn't even know what it was before that. Somebody's like, "Hey, you want to see this movie of Santa Claus versus the Martians?" Yes. <laughs> People are going over it. I don't care. Put it on now. <laughs> so yeah, Sam Claus versus Marsha. Uh, someone else. Uh, uh, Harley, Harley Quinn in the back. Oh, uh, overdrawn at the memory bank. Yes. <laughs> For those of you in here, overdrawn at the memory bank. Um, the best line uh, when they're in Casablanca and he's like in the restaurant and he's like, you, you have to fly suits, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, overdrawn in the memory bank. I love when they said, just as a, just as a, because like for those of you who haven't seen it, it's just like it's on video. It's not even film. Um, it's Raul Julia, and he's watching Casablanca, and he's dreaming that that's his life. And they say, why you stop referencing a good movie in your crappy movie? It makes you look even worse. Yeah, yeah, I love that. I love that one. Uh, Preston, uh, my favorite is uh, Operation Double Double O Seven. 
I'm a huge Bond fan, Team Craig. Um, and, but this Bond film is like someone, like my mom wouldn't let me see Terminator 2, so all my friends at, uh, in school told me about it. And so it was like someone told someone about a Bond film, and the guy's like, I'm going to make that movie. Uh, and uh, and it's Sean Connery's brother is in it. And it's like, it was, so the second Italian title was OK Connery, and it, like, he is the OK Connery. Uh, <laughs> Uh, and what's hilarious is that several people from the Bond films, there's a, one of the guys from Dr. No and I think a girl from Diamonds Are Forever are in the film. Money Penny. Is yeah. It, yeah. And uh, does a horrible job. Yeah. And they're and good in everything else. they're good in their Bond films. Yeah. 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 Wow. Wow. So, double, double. So I like when Joel makes the chart of, uh, of um, Sean Connery's career going up and his brother's career going down. And, like, <laughs> and it, like, it intersects at Highlander 2. <laughs> <laughs> uh, someone else. Space Mutiny. Yes. <laughs> Who said that? Who said that? Richard. Yes. Thank you. Why Space Mutiny? What? Every time they said a new name for the guy, I lost it. Yeah. Uh, Space Mutiny. There's two things. <laughs> so, those are. I have to think of another one before it comes my turn now. But yes, thank you. Uh, Space Mutiny. The good guys and the bad guys. They're on the same ship for no reason. Uh, there are no handrails, and everyone keeps falling into like these abyss. Like, why don't you guys just have handrails? And then at one point, one of the characters dies, and then later she's in the background. Yeah, she's in the scene, and they're like, "Look alive!" They're, "Oh, sorry." <laughs> and I, that movie is amazing. So thank you, thank you for saying that. I gotta think of something else now. Yeah, your turn. Uh, my mine is Gamera. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, just in general, all the Gameras. All the Gameras. He's just gonna love them together. Because I like turtles. <laughs> do you know? Do you know the Gamera theme song? No, I, I never remember it. But you do it every time, and you do it so well. Um, Gamera. Gamera is really neat. He is made of turtle meat. We all love you, Gamera. And that's just one version. They they sing like like twenty different. So Gamera, there's like five of them. So yeah. I really do love turtles. Though. Yeah, no, he does. <laughs> do your turtles spit fire? Absolutely. In a circle. Please <laughs> <You just> don't. <laughs> oh. Um, someone else. One more. The thing. The thing. The thing. Nice. Why? Wait, did the thing say that? I didn't see anyone say that. <laughs> <laughs> Who said that? There he is. I see. <laughs> Why the thing? The door. The door. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, okay. I, I'm going to freak out and say, uh, hold on, I gotta think, because I always say space me. So, um, 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 oh, robot monster. Uh, for those of you, it's an early one. Uh, for those of you who haven't seen it. It doesn't even need MST3K. I mean, it is. It's Robot Monster. I mean, if you haven't seen it, it's about this uh, monster who's a robot. Uh, but his body is a monkey, but he's wearing a space helmet. And he lives in a cave that blows bubbles. And... Um, Wait, why that's, it. that's it. That's it. I don't know. And he doesn't live in the cave. He appears to just live sort of in the entryway of the cave. <laughs> and, like, he's got this machine that blows bubbles. Maybe the bubbles is causing it's, earthquakes? It's bizarre. Being safe and then we just picked it up for a three season. <laughs> <laughs> and they're doing a spinoff on the WB. And Fox dropped it. Uh, Darker <laughs> and edgier. <laughs> Fox dropped it. That's uh, okay, so are you guys ready to watch a really crappy movie? Yes! Yes! Um, so we're going to do our first uh, live riff-off for this. Uh, we're going to need two volunteers from the audience. Who wants to riff a really bad movie? Come on in, Zondi. If you're just a mean person. Oh, yeah, right there. Oh, we can we can, come yeah, come on up. Right. Let's do it. Okay, you guys. Uh, thanks for doing it. Uh, so I'm not going to tell you anything about this, except at the beginning I told you, but this is the last time over. We've done this probably 30 times. Uh, this is the last time we're retiring this short. It's called... Consuming women. Thank God I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be weird if I wasn't. Usually it's kaleidoscope, drugs, kaleidoscope. Well, this is a woman. Oh, thank God. Creepy. Good thing I still have a window off. Sparkling teeth. 
I'm pretty, I'm sexy. Hello. I have a thought in my head. I don't even know that. Mystery Science, uh, you know, they were the pioneers, and they were awesome, obviously. Um, but they're stand comedians saying jokes to the movie, which is which is great. And we've explored some other ways of riffing a movie. Uh, so uh, who's first? Uh, who has... Uh, well, Dan, go ahead and go first. Okay. So, um, so one of the things I liked about riffing movies, as I said, uh, Jeff and I have been doing it since high school. Um, I, I came up in uh, vaudeville melodrama. I do a lot of character voices, and one of the things that um, we do in Rabbit Ears that I think is uh, fairly unique is we try to do impressions. So we've got um, we've got like movies with Bella Lugosi. Uh, actually, one of my favorite moments is uh, Bella Lugosi is is uh, coming up. He's coming up to this fire pit, and I get to talk like Bella Lugosi, and I'm like. I fell into a burning ring of fire, you know. <laughs> but so like we'll try to do things. So we've got like uh, I think one of the one of the shows had Sonny Bono in it. <laughs> so I totally got to talk like Sonny and you know, do his thing out there. You know, he's on the airplane. Um, so Jeff, one of, one of one of the things we try to do is uh, we'll we'll come up with different um, different either characters in the in the show that are actually real people, or or we'll try to figure out things like uh, we'll get. Like Jeff will come up to me and say, "Okay, 
I want a dog that's wet and depressed. Can you give me that for this line? My, and favorite, <laughs> my favorite was he looked up at one day when we were in the recording studio because a lot of the times, you know, I'll tell him something, but he has no idea why I'm thinking this. Um, at the time we're doing it, even though he knows the movie, and I'll come to him and say, okay, this script now calls for you to say this in the goofy ghost, uh, goofy, jealous ghost underwater voice. You remember that? Like, it, and you're like, how do I even do that? You're like, this song, yeah. whatever you did, I don't remember. It was like, it was like cool. Okay. Yeah, I, I keep uh, on waiting for Minnie Ma uh, Mickey Mouse to come on public domain. <laughs> Let me know what happens. Uh, 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 Preston, <laughs> your, your turn. Um, we also do crazy zany sound effects. Um, the example that I can think of that's my favorite is we did a holiday special for uh, green stamps. It's some yeah, saving up, save up green stamps. SNS green stamps. None of our holiday specials have anything to do with the holidays, by the way. It's one thing that we love doing. But it's basically <laughs> like this guy and this this boyfriend and girlfriend that get into a fight, and she uh, saves their relationship through uh, her frugality oh, of, uh, having, of green having SNS <laughs> green stamp coupons. Um, but at one point, they're getting into an argument, and the scene at the tenth scene, and the scene fades out. And then we add like a. Oh yeah, because in the car. Yeah, <laughs> like like the, the car had like spun out and crashed. Um, that's my favorite one. But they'll, we do we add sound effects where it's inappropriate um, to the scene. Very inappropriate laugh tracks. Those are my favorite. More like, inappropriate. Yes. Uh, and then subtitles, right? Subtitles. Yeah. Subtitles. No, uh, Preston, I think your subtitles. Are yeah. I can do it. Um, yeah, no, I, we I, have some like, like, ta -da, ta -da. Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah, so in the movies, there'll they'll be like uh, there'll be times when people are talking in different dialects, or you can't quite hear what the character's saying, and so we'll put in our own little dialogue for those characters. Turns out to be pretty good. Simple they don't they don't say what you would expect. <laughs> <laughs> and um, and that's uh, my apologies to Dylan. He went to go get the prize. He had some titles. Uh, but uh, uh, we talked a little bit about riffing in character, and you know, one of the things that we do is so we'll riff in uh, character. So our characters, some characters would say certain things and some wouldn't. And if they're in a fight before the movie starts, they're still in that fight during the movie. You know, like they're in a domestic situation where they're roommates or whatnot. So they they uh, they always riff in character. So and I'm right as if on cue, he's back. Uh, I just took your spotlight. I apologize. But we can uh, say we can say Dylan like Arnold and uh, Dylan. Yeah. Um, so uh, so uh, we want to play a quick uh, clip of uh, we sort of condense these down all those all those examples into one. But this is our show and this is uh, just a quick uh, clip of kind of a good example of everything we just talked about. Speaking of characters, that's Prospector Heat. He's crazy. <laughs> oh my gosh! He's still singing! I wonder where his little thing is. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> I'm it. Oh, maybe I should have married Shrivley. Are you done? Even though the doctor is constantly At least I can find his dinghy. Okay, you're done now. Maybe he can hit the high notes because he doesn't have a dinghy. Seriously, Vicky used to be able to make people stop. That's because she had a dinghy. Wait, we're talking about the little rowboat still, right? Yeah, what do you think we're talking about? What is going on? Have we ever had a film just freeze before? How is this happening? Why didn't they just edit this part out? Oh, cool, you guys are here. I can't wait to get this party started. I remember when I was an angel. I screwed that up. Well, it beats sleeping in a burning bed, I guess. Miss Briley? He thinks you're the guy that goes around biting little kids out of the neck, you know what I mean? I preferred grown men with front tied shirts. Ah, ah, ah. It's a three flusher. I wish I didn't have to wear that frog suit to the prom. Cheesecake monsters, leave me alone. I need to water the candles. No, you can't have my refrigerator. I need it to breathe. <laughs> high check. Real high check. <laughs> Thanks for the ride, Mr. Grace. <laughs> Time to think. 
more volunteers to end with our final rip off. This guy, yeah, he was, yeah. He was, he was, he was, he was yeah, he was in his head ripping the last one, so come on up. One more volunteer. Alright, so this is the very first time we've ever shown this short. Um, Sorry. I apologize in advance. When I saw Consuming Women, I said, this is the worst thing I've ever seen. This is so offensive. And then I saw this short. So this is, we think, Preston, Preston, yeah, we, 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 yeah, and it analyzed this a lot. We spent a lot of time on this one. We think it's a joke. We really we honestly believe. think it's a joke. We want, we want to believe it's a joke. Yes. It's you called Gags and Gals. And it's called, yeah. It's not what you think. It's worse. <laughs> it's weird. Okay, here we go. It's an official film, by the way. <laughs> it's official. Hey, Mr. Now pay attention to Zarek and Zarina, they're important to the story. <laughs> Hello, Father Times. I just wanted to sing. Uh, I'm a dumb blonde, you Ooh, ouch, ouch. Sorry. Uh, Write a letter to our company. Blah, 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 blah. So, I'd be better if you stood up. Yeah. No, they're more than satisfied with our selection. Everything is fine in your job. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep smiling and don't leave. I wish the internet was a I hate Google Prime or Amazon Prime. <laughs> Return to Center. <laughs> Oshkosh, Wisconsin does not have a lot of pretty women. You can find out why right now. Ah, uh, the place looks better than I. Right? Like Fragile. It's Italian. <laughs> I know it's Carol Kay. Me, Tarzan, you, James. Not oh, the required. Dry. Can you imagine the IKEA instruction sheet for her? <laughs> Wait, Joyce, I I like you. Wait, you are pretty. Wait, let me get straight. You only work the head. <laughs> <laughs> we are box robots. Some sexy boxes. And box is real. <laughs> Who is this guy that like likes girls in boxes dancing for me? So we have a head. He's from Oshkosh. So we have a specific head and like fetish. <laughs> Get a job, he said. It'll be easy. <laughs> Who needs women when you have robot women? Check out these ankles. <laughs> you, what Jane. The, inside of oh, 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 the unboxing. <laughs> I'm smiling because it's scary. You said there was someone said they required. What? So how do you apply for a job like this? And now that it's gone to internet... Which model do Ow! you like more? My foot! Who do you think he's going to choose, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> the other one! And twirl, and twirl. Man, she's heavy. <laughs> I'm getting dizzy. I wish I knew how to dance. Hey, what about me? What about us? <laughs> and this is how the robot revolution began. <laughs> Produced by Steve Jobs. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <Woo! laughs> Thank you guys for suffering through that one. Where the mail order means you order by parcel post, we come to you. 
keep the one that you like best and then return the rest for any one of us will bring a thrill so new and it didn't end well. That wasn't even that. For you. It's not bad. It's not what you think. It's not what you think. It's not what you think.